Hi, Wolfmid here. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the best free VTubing apps that requires no webcam. It has the ability to have full facial tracking and using a webcam or without. I normally don't do videos like these. I always try to keep my videos as short as possible. If you like videos like this, or you have any suggestions for other applications that you want me to do a full walkthrough on, please leave a comment down below and make sure that you hit the like button because that way I'll know that you like this video style in particular. So I'll keep doing more of them in the future, covering other applications. This video has been brought to you by Private Internet Access for fast, safe, reliable internet browsing to make it appear like you're from almost any country in the world. Please click on the link in the video description down below. It really, really helps you out. It's actually something I use on a regular basis. Recently, I mainly use it on, on YouTube to get around the age restriction because apparently in Korea, you have to register on to be on a list in order to watch something like the Cyberpunk 2077 trailer which I don't really want to do. I also use it to check out anime on Crunchyroll. So this is the magic mirror. When you first open the application, you might see it in Japanese. If you want to change it to English right here, there's a language setting where you can change it to English. And then here you're going to have the option to load in your own model. It has to be a VRM file. And if you don't know what a VRM file is, please check out the video that's going to be popping up in the corner. And that'll tell you how to convert your model to a VRM. So once your model is loaded, so I'm just going to reload my current model. You're going to have a screen that looks like this. Since this is something I made, I don't bother filling these parts out, but yours might look something like this. And it's going to ask you if you want to load this character. And now your character is loaded into V magic mirror. The first thing that you might have is you might have some issues with the placement of your character. Here we're gonna go into the settings menu and here we're gonna go into the streaming tab. And then here you're gonna have some options to change some things. So the first thing that you should do is change the camera because sometimes when you load your model in for the first time, it's not gonna be positioned properly. So go to the camera option in the streaming tab and we're gonna click on free camera. And this gives us the ability to move the camera around. So if you hold your middle mouse button, you're gonna be able to move yourself around like this. And if you zoom in or zoom out uh, with the scroll wheel in the middle mouse button, it allows you to do that. It allows you to zoom the camera. And then if you hold the right click, it allows you to change the angle. And with this, you're able to get all the controls that you need. You can save these presets to these quick save buttons right here. So let's, for example, I'm gonna save this to position one. And then I'm going to slightly change the angle. Let's say if I wanted the angle to be like, uh, over here, for example, I can have the save to position two. And now when I go quick load, it'll load between those two different scenes. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to device layout. What I recommend is before going into device layout, toggle on the gamepad. So if you have a gamepad, it'll allow you to be able to move these around. So now we're going to go into the same thing and we're going to go to free device layout. And here you're going to have some control options, position, rotation. I personally just like to keep it at the default values. And here you can see, I'm going to just position the gamepad. I'm going to move it up and here you can move all of the other things. So when you see me move the keyboard, it's right there. So that's, uh, I'm going to move it actually over a little bit. And then I'm going to move my mouse just over here. And you can see me, my hand, that's where the mouse actually moves. And then once you're happy with the positioning, then you can turn off the device layout. And then uh, since I don't use the gamepad, I'm going to turn the gamepad off. Now, as you can tell, I already have tracking on. For what I'm going to do very briefly is I'm going to demonstrate all of the different tracking methods that you can use with V Magic Mirror. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is set up something called lip sync. Basically what that means is that it's going to use your microphone to move your character's mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and select your microphone that you want to use and you just scroll down and select the microphone that you want. And you can even select the sensitivity. I prefer just to be able to show the volume slider just so I can see it. What I'm going to do just, I'm just going to quickly go through each of the different tracking methods just so you can see how they look. Now you can see with the lip sync on my mouth is automatically moving based on the microphone. And you can see that my, uh, since I'm not using a webcam right now, you can see that it is uh, using, my head is moving based on where my mouse is. And then you can see here, I have the keyboard activating as well. 
Now, optionally, if you wanted to also have webcam tracking, you can do that as well by going to track face, making sure that you check that option. You select your webcam, which I've already done, and then you turn your webcam on. And here you'll be able to try get some additional body movement with the uh, mouse and with also your webcam. And it allows you to be able to move back and forth or move your head side to side. You can even turn on the high power mode and that should actually improve the quality of the tracking. And then you can even turn on something called enable image based hand tracking, which I find kind of works, but kind of doesn't. Personally, I haven't really had a lot of success with it. So I'm gonna turn that off. You can also change the eye look target. So right now you're seeing how my, my avatar is being controlled by where the mouse is looking. Even though I have the webcam tracking on, I'm moving my head side to side. It also um, uses the mouse. If I turn that off, now it's only gonna rely on my head movements with my webcam. You can also have it so that it always looks forward. It, it's up to you whether if you wanna have it controlled with your webcam, a combination of your webcam and your mouse, or if you just turn the webcam off and then just have it control where look where your mouse looks. One thing I will note is that if you are using a gamepad, um, it'll actually be able to move your character like side to side, forward and backwards if you are using the gamepad and controlling it. Optionally, if you have a iPhone with Face ID, you can turn on external tracking. So I'm gonna do that right now. And you can see that the quality of the tracking is actually much, much better. And you can even track your facial expressions if you have an avatar set up for that. And this is what I was using in the beginning of the video. If you wanted to know more about that, they provide some handy links right there. Here is where you would pair it with the iPhone application. Even though V Magic Mirror is a free application, the iFacial Motion Capture application is a $10 application. Going back to the streaming setting, you're gonna have some other options. I'm gonna be turning off lip sync because we are not gonna be using lip sync. Now we're just purely tracking with the iPhone and we're gonna turn off the camera. If you are gonna be using this with OBS, I strongly recommend using a transparent window like this. That way um, you don't have to worry about doing a chroma key. Your next option here, I've seen a lot of people use this for drawing streams, is you can actually set up, instead of using just the mouse pad that is right here, you can have it in a presentation like hand. So that means you can have it set up with a camera angle and you can make it so that it follows your mouse. So for example, if I were to go into this position, I can make it look like I'm pointing at certain places. So let's get into some of the other features of V Magic Mirror. So back into the home section, you're gonna see open settings window. And when you open the settings window, you're gonna be greeted with a bunch of different options. Here you can change the background color. Here you can also set the transparent window. You can make it so that it's always in the front most window. Here, you're gonna have the virtual camera output. Here, they're gonna give you some options on how to set it up. They give you some information on how to install it. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna open up the V Magic Mirror. So I have the folder right here. And here you're gonna see the camera install. And then all you do is you double click this install.bat and it has succeeded. This means now you can use this image as your new webcam. So once you are in Discord, so here I'm gonna turn the enable virtual camera on. Then now we're gonna go down to our video settings and we are gonna look for, for Unity Video Capture and you're gonna just check it by hitting test video. If you had an error like I had, you might need to change the resolution. So I would recommend changing the size to 7, 1280 by 720. And here, and you can, as you can see in Discord, my video has been set to what you see in V Magic Mirror. The next thing you're gonna see here is the motion tab. Here you're gonna have some options. So for example, you can make it so that your hands are always down. You'll have the same options of lip sync and face tracking, You're the eye look target, and um, some options in terms of the positioning of your arm. So like, for example, like this, as well as the position of your hands. I recommend keeping these at the default settings unless you absolutely need to change them. Here you're gonna also have the same options in the layout as we did before in this streaming option. What are the two most important things is the effects. Here you can change the image quality. So I have it set to ultra. I think that's set by default or you can have it set to like very low. You can see that there is some difference in quality if you look around my hair. And then here you can adjust the color of the lighting. You can increase the t intensity of the lighting and you can change the angle, the shadow, the bloom, 
and the wind. So you can even enable wind if you wanted to. So like, for example, if you had dynamic bones set up for your hair, uh, it can be affected by the wind. The next tab is my favorite part of V Magic Mirror that I wish other applications also had. It does come with some preset expressions. For example, I have mine set to the keyboard. So if I actually type the word good, it does that action. And if I type the word wave, it does the wave action. We can start this by adding our own expression by hitting this plus sign. And then you go to the gear symbol. And then here you're gonna have a list of all of your expressions. And as you can see that if you have any tracking enabled like I did, it's not gonna turn on. What I'm gonna do though is keep lip sync active. And then here you're gonna have a list of all of your different expressions. So I'm gonna go down right here and I'm gonna turn on this blend shape. All You can set the setting to how much you want it. So for me, I have to have it all the way up at 100%. And then I'm gonna make the word V, VR. So one thing to keep in mind is that make sure that your word is in lowercase and you can have numbers and spaces. And now if I type and I test it, I type VR, the VR will pop on. So now let's go into some more actions. So let's go press the plus sign right here and we're gonna go back to the gear like before and we're gonna choose a built-in motion. So there are some built-in motions right here. We're gonna say keep lip sync active. So now if we type in Rokuro, you can see that option activating. Now let's say if you didn't want to have to type out all of these key phrases, you can just hit all these buttons here, but actually probably a more convenient way to do that is you can either assign it with the gamepad, you can assign it with the number keys. So let's say for example, I'm gonna activate VR right now by hitting uh, number pad seven. And you can also set it up with a MIDI controller if you have one. Personally, I like keeping it on the keyboard using the word because I find that a lot more versatile and this way you can actually add almost as many things as you want. Now one thing I will recommend is to make sure that you don't have any overlapping words. So for example if I were to make a new one and I were to use part of the same word like VR fun for example and I go back down and let's say I'm gonna make this make the pumpkin, for example. So now if I type in VR fun, it's gonna have some issues activating both at the same time. So just make sure that you are not overlapping any key combinations that you are gonna have. So now if I change to the pumpkin and you see the pumpkin has activated. Now, once you have all of the settings that you want completely saved, I recommend saving all of these settings by clicking, uh, going back to the home tab and then settings management, you can click save. Here you are going to be able to save your file. So here I'm gonna just name it vMagic settings. So now when you open the application, uh, if you click load current VRM on setup, when you open it, it's gonna, it should by default load all of your current settings and load the same model in. And just in case you can also make sure that it loads the settings that we saved, that we changed earlier. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or you can visit me on my stream, twitch.tv slash And you can pop in and have a great conversation there.